Hello everybody, this is Eric D with Freestyle Cage Fighting here with Tom Jones. Hello. We're going to be watching a couple fights from April 9th, 2011. The first fight is Sarah Malloy versus Avery Vilch. Sarah in the red tape and Avery in the blue tape. They start right off at the beginning. Avery throws some really good strikes, but Sarah gets the better of it. Lands a knee to Avery's face. Twos. Avery's getting some good body shots in there. Looks like Sarah may be working for a takedown here. I saw her try to go for a hip toss early on. More good knees from both of them. A lot of knees going on the clinch. There's a lot of energy being expended right now. Avery's got a really tight plumb clinch on Sarah. Good punch, Sarah. Sarah's just pummeling away with those knees. Avery's still working some rights to the body in there, though. Oh, big rights to the body from Sarah. Three in a row, followed by some uppercuts. Those are hard. Good knees. Some good clinch work going on here. I think sometimes the audience can't appreciate the amount of damage that can be done in a short space in the clinch work. Well, it's rare to see two people both in such a good clinch landing. I mean, usually one person's dominating the clinch. These two girls are both getting a lot of damage on the other. Looks very even in there. It does look like Malloy does have a slight advantage because she is the one on the outside who's going to come against the clinch. Oh, she goes she for looks the like takedown. her back. Look at that flexibility. Went for a takedown and looks climbed on her back. Sarah looks to be about to twist, though. She's going to get full mount on her. She's going to pull her. Nope, going for a triangle. With that, switch the back mount to a triangle. Looks like she got her legs in a scissor position. She's got her arm in there, but she doesn't have an actual figure for triangle Oh, position. Malloy's going to climb out the back and use it to take her down. A good action pack first for him so far. Hit her, hit her. Sarah passes again to the side. Nope, half. Haven't slowed down yet. Now she passes to the side. Looks to trap the arm. Getting some good left hooks in there. And she tried using the fence on bottom to roll out. She's got all her head almost like in a headlock position. And, and she it works. She got it. it. You don't see that work too often. No. And now Avery and in mouth. mouth. Some good hooks. It's hard to tell how devastating the strikes are, but it looks like she is swimming quite a bit. And Sarah had her eyes closed. She definitely wasn't enjoying it. Look at that. Looks like Sarah just bored that over here. She over immediately goes for a D team, looks like. They're going to stand him up. Maybe the end of the round. End of the round. Good round. An excellent round, non-stop from beginning to end. <laughs> See if they're working out hard again. It looks yep. like they are. Back right to back the to the clinch. clinch. Oh, nice reverse off the hip toss. And she may be able to take her back from here, but again, Avery goes for that headlock, and she's got it tight. She's on that head, you know, it's not necessarily a super technical hold, but it does keep your opponent from running around. And Good I got to think that Sarah's dregs are allowing her to keep that grip, where she wouldn't That's otherwise maybe not. That's very possible. Oh, two good knees. Oh, hard shots from Sarah. Avery knee in the thigh a little bit, maybe trying to take some strength from Sarah's takedowns. See if you look this time. Oh, they switch positions. I think Sarah's definitely the physically stronger of the two. She seems able to muscle Avery around. Going for a foot stomp. Oh, both of them going for a foot stomp. That's what ended up happening. That reminds your opponent, hey, wait a second, I can foot stomp her. Oh, good knees. Both these fighters are very game. Oh, 
Sarah with another takedown attempt, and Avery keeps her balance. She's trying to separate now the back of the clinch. Sarah's definitely able to muscle Avery around, but Avery's keeping on her feet. She's got good balance. Looks like her stand-up strategy is to push her against the fence, the fence and just use her knees and mm -hmm. punches and, and just wear her down. It appears Avery might be a little bit uh, gassed at this point. Yes. She's got her mouth open. Also bleeding from the nose a little bit. Which sometimes when you get your nose broke, that'll force you to bleed your nose well. She tried a trip, didn't work. And for a guillotine. Avery back in the Nope, Sarah's going to come out the back. And Avery to the side. With some hammer fists and elbows. Ooh, good strikes. Trying to scissor the head again. So she's trying to pin that arm down so she can land some unanswered strike to her face, which she's getting right there. She's got it. I don't know how much damage is being done by those short strikes. And Sarah's. Looks to be pulling the head in when maybe she needs to be cross-facing her out of the way a little bit to get that leg around her. It appears that Avery has a cut on her left cheek. into the clinch and right up against the fence. The Vilch may go back to the leg kicks. There she goes. Yeah. Good shot. This is a very even fight. Seem to have lost a little bit of the sting on their knees, but they're still getting some nice tight uppercuts in there. More foot stomps from Bilch. This is the last round, and after all the strength and punch, punch work, I'm sure all the uh, Bilch's girls are. Oh, Bilch! Feeling beat up by Nice takedown by Bilch, almost into an arm triangle. Ends up in half. Is she going to reverse her? I'm not sure Sarah's got enough left. Sarah appears to be a little cut now. Oh, nice elbow. She's riding a strong half guard now. I don't know if she's going to be able to get off of her now. Avery seems pretty content where she is. She doesn't look like she's trying to pass. Rather, just land some shots to the body. And stay on top. In fact, Sarah's guard is completely open. And Avery's still not trying to pass. I think she feels more control from this position, maybe. I think it's a situation that if it's not broke, don't fix it. It's right. looking for She's landing strikes. And right. see another good one right there. Finally, gets guard back as we're closing up the round. Moves to a high guard, may just want to. Nope, she's looked like she was going to go for something, maybe an arm. Shifting her hips again, she looks like she definitely wants to go for something. She's trapped Avery's left arm, and there she's going to go for something. And again, she doesn't quite twist quite enough. Definitely going for that arm. 
Good, strong finish. What a fight. Good. Oh, excellent right. Excellent. Well, they both have some great strikes. Just that good takedown, which might have been the mantra. All right. Good job. Excellent fight. Ladies and gentlemen. Back again. Absolutely. Judges Nick Atwood and Jason Greenwald score the fight 30-27. Judge Chris Ritter scores the fight 29-28. For your winner by unanimous decision, Avery Filch! Saturday, July 23rd at Fire Lake Grand Casino in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Watch Josh the Beast Bryant defend his 185-pound title. Check out freestylecagefighting.com or firelakegrand.com. Next up is Matt Grice versus David Gardner. Matt Grice, no stranger to the cage, in the red tape with the OU shorts. David Gardner in the blue tape with the camo shorts. Kudos to David for climbing in the ring with a UFC veteran in Matt Grice. You know, sometimes as a young fighter, you have to test yourself. The only way you're going to know if you can hang with the uh, guys at the top of the food chain is to get in there and fight them. And it looks like David's doing just that. He's standing toe-to-toe -to -toe with Grice, and Grice known for having knockout power. And that's something in the past, Grice has been known mainly for his wrestling ability uh, because of his background, but his last few fights we've seen his stand-up improve considerably. Oh, good shot. looks like a nice solid shot that put Gardner down on his knees, and now Matt showing the wrestling pedigree. And it's just like that, uh, Matt's going to make this a stand-up fight, the way he's separated. I think so. Matt looks really light on his feet this fight, lighter than I've seen him before. It's quick. Gardner backing up against the cage. Not a wise move here. Oh, goes for a leg kick and Matt comes in and counters with a straight right. Nice left hook right straight combo from Matt again. So far Gardner not really landing anything. Nice inside leg kick. Kind of a fake takedown into an overhand right landed. Well, Gardner's striking definitely not polished, but he seems game to get in there with Matt. Very much so. I like to see like both fighters are perfectly fine with keeping this fight a standing fight. Oh, nice yeah. combo from Matt. Cool punch combo. Another inside leg kick from Gardner. Oh, that almost crumbled him. Matt's overhand right. But Gardner's still looking in there. I mean, he seems fine. Matt going with an inside leg kick of his own. Oh, nice. Fake into a left hook, and he's got him on the cage. He's Just putting on a clinic now. Gardner got an uppercut in there, but that's about the best of it. Gardner's dropping his hands when he lunges in for that inside leg kick. I think he's uh, he's going to have some problems with that later in the fight because Matt's throwing a lot of overhand rights and lefts. He's leading with that hook a lot, and Gardner's getting really predictable. Like the quickness of Matt Grice is so much more of his hands. Oh yeah. Gardner. And Gardner's moving from the waist instead of just moving his head. And Matt separates again. Matt hasn't even attempted a takedown. Gardner's kicks are so telegraphed. He's not trying to set him up with a jab or anything. I'm wondering how much of a good shot from the best grid left to 
Oh, Gardner gets a, a little uppercut in there as he comes off the fence the same way he landed the uppercut last time. Matt needs to remember that when he's coming off the fence, he may be a little overconfident. I'm wondering how much of the strategy from Grice is going off Gardner just for the sole fact he doesn't have a wrestling pedigree and he's coming in and, and beating him standing up. You gotta know going into a fight if you're not expecting that, what it, what's it going to do for your game plan when you have a, a wrestler in front of you beating your stand up. That's true. Gardner may have expected a takedown early on. And his game plan of working those inside leg kicks may have been to weaken Matt's takedown, which Matt's not even employing. Instead, I think Gardner needs to work on keeping his hands up. He's dropping that lead hand there, right there. There's a perfect example. Matt comes over the top of the Superman punch because Gardner had his left hand down. Now Matt's going for a takedown, maybe. Good round. round. Good round. Fire Lake Grand is proud to present the world's best young Elvis, Travis LaDoit, Saturday, July 9th. Call 405-964-7777 or log on to FireLakeGrand.com for tickets. Fire Lake Grand Casino, I-40 exit 178 Shawnee, Ignite Something Grand. Here we go, in round two. Doesn't look like he's slowed down one bit since the first round. In fact, Gardner seems to be moving more himself as well. Oh, nice left hook to the jaw. Landed right on the button. See, and that's exactly what I said. Gardner's coming in for that inside leg kick with his hands down and got caught right over the top. Not landing those hard left hooks. Yeah. Gardner going for a trip. Matt saw it coming a mile away. Oh. Gardner goes for a takedown. That's a surprise. almost appears to me a, a change of strategy. The stand-up strategy wasn't working, so I'm going to take him to the ground. But Christ, being a wrestler he is, it's not going to be so easy. Right. Matt's trying to work him up against the cage again. Once he gets him up against that cage, he just unleashes. Gardner needs to keep circling, not allow himself to get trapped. Oh, barely misses getting a nice knee to the nose. Matt seems to be trying a lot of things with his striking. He's got a lot of tricks up his sleeve in this fight. A lot of fakes and feigns. i tell you what I'm impressed with is the fact that... Uh... Good shot. Got him up against the cage good again. Shots. And Matt just picking his shots. Oh, just digging those body Gardner shots in. Up. <laughs> like I'm fine. <laughs> Matt was just looking for the best place to land those bombs. Seemed like he had all the time in the world. Gardner gets another up another uppercut in there. That right uppercut sneaking in. Looks like Gardner's cut under his right eye. Not surprised. In fact, I'm surprised he's not cut worse than he is. Again, Matt lunges in with that overhand right. Oh, and a jumping knee. Doesn't quite hit its mark, though. Right here. And the thing about it with Bryce being a shorter fighter, he's the one who's controlling the distance. Yeah, that is a surprise. He's controlling the distance, and, and 
He's controlling when he's coming in and hitting. Gardner's not laying any effect of the hands whatsoever. The only thing Gardner seems to have is low leg kicks. That's true. Well, Matt is so much faster than Gardner. Matt can oh, cover so that distance there. before Gardner can even react. Now Gardner trying to close the distance, maybe get some hands on him. Matt turns it right around. He's got him up against the cage again. Gardner just covers up, and Matt goes to town. He lands a knee. And here Gardner is just trying to survive. Oh, head kick. As he gives a thumbs up. Again. Well, Gardner's definitely tough. Took a foot right to the forehead that Matt set up. Matt breathing a little heavy now, wearing himself out, beating the crap out of Gardner. Again, though, if that's Gardner's strategy, he's barking up the wrong tree. There's no way Matt is going to run out of cardio. Doesn't look like it. Good leg kick. You know, that's what I'm impressed by Matt is he's switching up leg kick. Oh, nice. Head oh, yeah. kick. He's switching stances and leading Good the body side. shot. Good hook to the body. He's going upstairs, downstairs, body, head. He's doing everything a good MMA striker needs to do. That's Very true. Very impressed with Matt Rose. Keeping a wide base and throwing power shots with both hands. Oh, good overhand right. Lands again. Gardner seems all right. Fire Lake Grand Casino presents the Motor City Madman, Ted Nugent, Friday, July 15th. Get tickets at Fire Lake Grand Casino or call 405-964-7777 or log on to FireLakeGrand.com. Fire Lake Grand Casino, I-40 exit 178 Shawnee, Ignite Something Grand. All right, final round. Round three. Gardner's got to do something different. He's got to do something. Matt's grinning at him now, almost daring him to come in. Gardner's going after him. I, I think he knows he's losing this fight. He's got to do something different. He is going after him. Grice seems completely unfazed. And Grice has no rhythm that uh, that David's able to latch onto. Matt's moving Another around. Head kick. Another knee. More knees, left and right. Much more punishment from Gardner Tate. This is this is good. It's a good fight. Well, that's the biggest surprise here is definitely Gardner's chin. I mean, Matt's got to be getting frustrated, too. He's throwing everything at him that he's got, and he can't seem to knock the guy off his feet. He almost crushed him in the first round with that overhand right, but since then, Gardner's just been absorbing it like a sponge. As you can see, the speed level of uh, Matt Grice has not slowed down at all. And Matt's hammering that thigh, that left thigh. More jumping punches, another, another head, head kick. Gardner just comes walking right back into the fray. With his hands at his waist. I think right now it's just a matter of frustration. What can he do to this fighter to get through to him? Well, I think in both cases, Gardner's just thinking, I mean, he's just absorbing punishment. He has no way to get past Matt. And Matt's probably wondering how he's going to beat this guy. More knees to the face, hooks. Good strikes. Good uppercut. Body shot. Consistently Body working shot. his left side, yeah. Gardner's lower left ribs are going to be hurting so bad tomorrow. This is what toughness is all about right here, though. Not quitting, not giving up. He's still hanging in there. Grice is just taking it to him. And Gardner's bleeding from some new cuts now. He's got him above. Uh, he's got one below his right eye. It looks like a couple above his left eye. Again, Matt hammering on that left thigh. Hmm. 
and Gardner's not slowing down. I mean, to his credit, he's still throwing strikes. He's still coming in trying. I mean, he's really had no offense to speak of for this whole fight, but he hasn't given up. He keeps walking right back in. When he gets him up against the fence, that's when he's really in trouble. And I'll give both these fighters credit. One for neither one of them. Matt, Matt hasn't slowed down one bit. He hasn't slowed down since the first round. He's still moving forward. And right now, as a fighter, he could sit back and win the decision, and he's not. He's Absolutely. trying to finish the fight. He's pushing forward. And Gardner's hanging in there, you know. It, it would be easier for him to go, you know what, this isn't my day, but he's hanging in there. He's trying to fight both these fighters with both right now. More knees. And right to that body shot again. Those right hooks to the bottom half of the end. You can see the damage on his face, the same oh, yeah. on his ribs. Look at his right arm. He is the up. Matt goes for a spinning back fist, misses. At this point, I think he's just going to try anything. Like I stated earlier, it's, it's, Matt's trying to finish the fight. He's he not absolutely is. He's trying to finish. He's and throwing everything he has at his opponent. Matt's landed enough shots that would have finished a handful of other fighters, but Gardner stays standing. There he goes again, gets another knee in there. Another head kick. Gardner bleeding all over himself now. Hasn't hasn't even shown any fear at all. No, I'll give Gardner credit also. I have yet to see his knees buckle. I have yet to see him. Other than the first round. The first round, right hand. Yeah. You're correct there, first round. Oh, Gardner goes uh, for a last ditch takedown. That was a desperation takedown. shot yep. right there. But again, Matt's totally oh, ready for it. Oh, knees brutal! To right body. to the same spot. Knees to the same side. <laughs> Gardner gets right back up. Matt's just letting him up. He's not down. I don't know how Gardner's getting up so easily after that. Gardner's face. It's like cold timeout. Yep. Oh, there's only, only seconds left. Hopefully the doctor knows that. He's going to let this continue. Gardner's earned a finish to this fight. And so has Matt. Matt doesn't want it to end by cut. Good, good, Here's good. 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 Here. Let these guys go out like a warrior. Go All right, right great fight. fight. Excellent show by Matt Grice and also David Gardner. Very impressive, very tough, very tough fighter. Inside leg kick, overhand right, high head kick. I, I'm telling you, I'm very impressed with the with the leg and the hand combos, Matt Rice. Ex yeah, Matt showed a lot of new striking techniques we haven't seen from him before, and he strung them together like a pro. He looked very at home. Oh, brutal knees. Decision. All three judges score the fight 30-26. For your winner, Matt Grice. Saturday, July 23rd at Fire Lake Grand Casino in Shawnee, Oklahoma. Watch Josh the Beast Bryant defend his 185-pound title. Check out FreestyleCageFighting.com or FireLakeGrand.com.